fans are not friends and shouldn't be friends. Basically, she pulled a Ludwig on him. And that got more of the parasocial saplings. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Really? This actually happened. No that shot. Wait, wait. I need to read this, okay? You're a regular at the local cafe. You support them. You enjoy spending time with them. <clears throat> you have pleasant interactions with other patrons and stuff. And, st and the staff. It's not your entire life, but it's an enjoyable part of your week. One day, while enjoying your little escape, the owner approaches you and says, We are not and cannot be friends. You knew this, but the fact that he felt the need to specify it has tainted things. You are no longer feel like a regular, you don't feel as comfortable in a spot you've become familiar with, you just feel like a wallet. You turn to another patron and say, That was weird, huh? I didn't think we were friends, but that felt a bit dehumanizing. And the patron responds, Uh, meds and touch grass parasocial much? <laughs> Jeez. When you said about friendship and boundaries, might be 100% right, depending on the bar for friend, but I don't know why you decided that replying to an obvious troll, he was making you choose between friends or calling saplings simps, which should have been the major red flag, was a good idea. I mean, that's true, she got baited. It's kind of sad that she now sees us, saplings, as nothing more than walking piggy banks at this point. <laughs> Streaming itself is inherently parasocial by both streamer and their fans. It's very delicate balance on both sides, but so long as- You know what? I need to watch the original video. I'm so fucking curious now. So what do I search here? How do I find this video? Can someone help me? Found a response to fans, right? A few moments later. Fauna is being real with us. I, I think it's this. I think it's this. I think, I think it's this. Okay? I think it's this. If it's not, I'm just closing this. Deep question that you're asking me. For me to go with my friend, he must be equal to me in all respects. Do you agree with the squad? Do hierarchies define friendships? Could you befriend a sapling or, or they're just simps? Yes, it's this. I mean, if you want me to be real, I'll be real. We as fauna and saplings, we cannot be friends and we shouldn't be friends. There's a lot of reasons. <laughs> it is, I think, important for boundaries to be maintained. I am yeah. here to entertain you, and that is all, really. And if you can have a good time here, then that makes me happy. That's if I'm if I'm being really real. And this goes for every streamer, I think. I don't know. I used to really... Because I've always liked YouTubers and stuff. And I used mm -hmm. to look at YouTubers and be like, Oh my god, if only I could be their friend. Like, I really wish I could be their friend. That would be so cool. But yeah. as I've gotten older, I've realized, like, there's nothing particularly, like, special or that amazing that makes a YouTuber different from any one else just because they're a youtuber doesn't mean that they'll be a good friend to you or to anyone so the people that you know in your life your friends they can be better friends to you than any youtuber can be and they're just as cool they have just as many like interesting ideas and cool traits about themselves than the youtubers that you admire do i think it's easy to look at youtubers and admire them but i promise if you look at your friends i mean yeah sure lens you'll also see like the cool things about your friends that makes your friends special too because youtubers are just normal people i mean i'm a caring keeper of nature but i'm pretty normal <laughs> well maybe i'm not i don't know i understand because i used to always yeah okay wait always watch I was saying anything. youtubers and want to be their friend i think that's normal to some extent it's important to keep in mind that I'm just here to stream and hopefully entertain you or make your day better in some way. I promise it's better that way. <laughs> it's better that way. You should cherish your friends in your life. And I hope you can have a good time in the sampling community at least. There are many people you can make friends with there. Anyway, there's my deep talk. I answered mm -hmm. it as honestly as I could. <laughs> I am happy to be here and entertain you guys and hang out and it's fun. Yeah. I see. And people took it the wrong way, right? It's kind of sad that now she sees us as sapling is nothing more than walking piggy banks at this point. Streaming itself is inherently parasocial by both streamers and their fans. I'm reading the third message. It's a very delicate balance on both sides. But so long as it's balanced, it's a healthy relationship. Once the balance tips to the one side or the other, it can never be balanced again. This may be the end of the road for me. Dog, what are you talking about? 
I thought I thought Fauna said some wild shit. Is this is this controversial to say that everything she said? You know, you want know to you know what it's actually happening here, okay? And this is what a lot of people got pretty fucking triggered by the comments from the recent video, which I noticed as well, okay? A lot of people, a lot, got uh, very very parasocial with Rusia. Let's be honest here, okay? Very parasocial. Her whole persona, her whole identity was like, oh, I'm this like cute god girlfriend type xd you know and like that's why she got like a lot of super chats and stuff that's literally what it is okay once she left or oh, what's that thing happened i remember that day oh my god the amount of shit that was like drilled over there okay like on her like constantly tagging tweeting pictures that's an unhealthy that's very unhealthy balance that she had with her fans. She was basically walking on the on, on like a line and she was like balancing the like she she was like almost there and like someone just pushed her and she fell. Okay? It was like it it, it took one fucking message to for people to get triggered. Okay? What Fauna is doing here, she's like already shutting down this type of behavior. Okay? She's already if I'm, if I'm being really real. if she's being really real. <laughs> For every streamer, I think. I don't know. And she's like 100% right. But I think the problem is with this community, and that's not only VTuber or like Hololife community. This goes into like parasocialism and the video I even made, right? There are so many toxic communities in different ways, right? Verbally. And this one is more like attached, especially with idolized girls who are like really attractive for our eyes, right? They're like cute anime girls, let's be honest, right? And th like we, we kind of want to care for them, we want to be like be with them, be like, oh, all of those, all of those like thoughts, right? So th this is this this there's like two <laughs> there's like the, the meme, right? Like choose your way, Western man, right? And one is like Fauna, and the other one's Rusia, okay? And everyone saw what happened with Rusia, so everyone's like, okay, fuck it. Every single idol's like, okay, fuck it. We need to like put some boundaries in, okay? If she's getting like these type of messages, it's better to shut them out, like right now. I'm like 100% in support of this. People are so parasocial. Like it, it actually scares me how people, how, how parasocial people are in this industry. But yeah, this was a really interesting, what's it called? I, I, I needed to watch this. And that is all, really. And if you can have a good time here, then that makes me happy. Exactly. If you just... This is what you should treat with your Oshis and everything, okay? It might sound harsh, right? It, it might sound harsh, but it's true. Just appreciate them as they're there. Once they're gone, they're gone, okay? There's nothing more to it. It's, it's a back and forth, okay? If you appreciate them, donate sub whatever if you don't appreciate them just leave like it's it's not it's not really that it's not that difficult but like these people like, man the, this guy's analogy of like oh she sees us saplings as nothing more than a walking piggy bank like dude i wouldn't say this to a friend like this is crazy this is just crazy it's sad